lift yourself out of this fancy auditorium and plunge into the Pacific Ocean. You are a baby coral reef fish. Life started when you hatched out of an egg on a coral reef, and as you took your first gulps of water, you were carried out on the ocean currents into the deep blue sea. You grew up here for a few weeks, and now you're big and strong, and at the size of a mighty tic-tac, you're ready to come back to a coral reef and take on the world. But how are you going to get there? Because this isn't Finding Nemo. The friendly sea turtles aren't going to point you in the right direction. This is the real world. And you are a very small fish in a very big ocean. You can't see a reef. They're too far away. You can't smell a reef. The current's going in the wrong direction. But you can hear a reef. They're really noisy places. Turtles crunch, shrimp snap their claws, fish whoop and grunt and chatter and buzz. Julie Andrews should have had a snorkel because the reefs are alive with the sound of music. Sound travels far underwater, and so you can hear your way home. Or can you? I'm a marine biologist. I study the sound of Australia's Great Barrier Reef using underwater microphones and my most recent recordings reduced me to tears. In the last five years, climate change has decimated my reefs. Cyclones have smashed them to pieces. Marine heat waves have cooked the corals. The animals of that underwater orchestra are dead, and their once joyful chorus is a quarter of its previous volume. The symphony of the sea is being silenced. You can't hear your way home anymore. You're lost in the blue. Now, that's depressing, but I don't study coral reefs so I can tell you depressing stories. I study them because I care, and I study them because the more we understand, the better we can protect them. For instance, we now know that these degraded reefs are too quiet, right? So can we use loudspeakers to call the fish back in? To test that idea, I did an experiment where I built lots of artificial coral reefs all around a bay, and on some of them, I used a loudspeaker to play the sound of a normal degraded reef. But on other ones, I played the sound of a healthy reef. And when I played that healthy sound, I got 40% more fish coming back, with a 25% increase in diversity. That could make a difference. Those fish, through their grazing, can clear away algae, they can allow new corals to grow, that might speed up recovery processes, and they might restore the rhythm of the reef. So yes, coral reefs are in crisis. Yes, it's heartbreaking, and you can hear it happening. But with new research comes new understanding and the potential for new solutions. So as we look to the future, let's learn to listen. Thank you.